Hi all, in this video we are going to build an agent using LangChain. Previously we talked about LangChain, the 6 modules of LangChain, we even built various chatbots, chat PDF using LangChain. You will find the link to all those videos in the description as well as in the i link above. Watch those after watching this video. Now understanding what an agent is, if you are not aware of, about agents, so understand it simplistically, an agent is a program that can think and reason out and interact with its world. So you would know that LLMs in general are trained on huge corpuses of data, but they have two limiting factors. First of all, their knowledge base is limited to the time when they were trained, right? And second of all, even if they are trained on a very large corpus, they cannot cater to the to all the available information that is there in the world. So for these two reasons, it is really necessary to allow these LLMs to interact with its environment, to interact with other tools and get relevant information, solve various tasks. So given a task, an agent will think about how to solve it, make a plan, do some actions, receive feedback and repeat until the task is done or a particular specified stop word is reached. Okay, so we'll see in a step by step fashion how we can build an agent using LangChain as well as what are some of the key components there. Okay, so uh, diagrammatically, if you understand, the, an agent comprises of an LLM which helps it in reasoning and thinking, understanding what the user wants, what the user requires, breaking down the task into subtasks, okay, into various actionable tasks, and then using required tools in order to fulfill those tasks and take action. Okay, so these tools interact with the environment and the task is specified to the LLM which helps in processing. This is the overall architecture of an agent. Now, in order to effectively work and build agents in LangChain, we need to know about some of the integrated tools that come in LangChain. I have already attached these links. I'll provide them in the description as well. Also, this will be available in this notebook. Instruction formatting for agents. So, so the agent basically needs to receive the output from LLMs in a particular fashion that helps it decide that helps in deciding for the next action to take. We call this a thought and action format. Okay, we'll talk about this as well as we move forward. And the types of agents. So there are various types of agents that are defined within LangChain. In this particular video, we are not going go into the details of the various types of agents. But I'll attach the link in the description and we can cover them in a separate video. Okay, so now in order to build our very own agent, what we are build, what agent are we going to build here? In this particular notebook or in this particular video, we are going to fetch relevant information for various research topics from RZIF as well as Wikipedia. So these are two primary tools that we are going to use here. Now that we understand what are LangChain agents and how uh, what are the different components of agents we need to install certain libraries in order to work through this tutorial if we are working with hugging face hub or the models in hugging face then you need to also install sense sense transformers and hugging face hub however in the experimentation it is found that the models open source models with the hugging face have not been effectively optimized to work with the langchain agents they do not provide the response in the format that it needs to be passed through the agents. Okay, we'll see what that format is in a while. So we install some of these libraries like RZIF, LangChain, Wikipedia, and OpenAI. We shall be working with chat OpenAI model. Then we import certain libraries such as agent type, initialize agent, load models, and the chat OpenAI model. Okay, we then pass our OpenAI API key, which you can get from the OpenAI website. You will get a free credit for say around $5 initially. Right. You can also free, go ahead and feel free to experiment using the Hugging Face Hub. Uh, like I'll also share like basically this is the repo that I use. You can go ahead and use other repos and see if you're getting good enough results. Okay. We are setting the API key in our OS.environ. Then we are creating our LLM. So the first component which helps us into reason and understand the task set that is provided by the user. Now uh, we need to know about some of the integrated tools that are available with LangChain that helps us build the agent. Okay, let us head over to the documentation. Okay, so here is a list of tools that are available with LangChain. I'll share this link in the description. You can go ahead and use other tools as and when you require like DuckDuckGo search, file system, Google Drive. 
there are various tools right which help you build your agents effectively now in this particular tutorial we are going to use the rzip and the wikipedia tool that are available we already installed the rzip and wikipedia packages using pip uh, the sample I'll show you when I try to run the RZIF along with the keyword AGI we get a result from a, which is a kind of a research based result it's the published date of in 2016 the title AGI containment problem corresponding authors so basically this is the most relevant research paper that it was able to find for a particular keyword if you look at another example say breast cancer detection similarly you will have uh, another paper referencing referenced from RZIF okay because our first tool is rzip now the same thing if you try to run with wikipedia you'll get a different kind of result right you'll get a result which are in the form of wikipedia articles page artificial general intelligence and the corresponding summary from that page okay so this is how the tools work right now we need to understand the format that is understood by the langchain agents so there are three different components to the format one is the prefix format instruction and the third is a suffix so prefix is followed by the set of tool names right that we are going to use say for example here rzip and wikipedia followed by the instruction how do you want to process the result from your llm the result from the llm should be processed as question thought action action input observation and so on and so forth till you reach the final answer the suffix is basically an instruction for uh, the agent to start taking an action now okay okay now with this all said we need to create an agent chain we initialize our agent chain pass our tools llm we select an agent type we are not going into the details about the various agent types but i'll attach the link in the description where you can check the various agent types available with langchain okay. we set verbose as true and under agent kw args we pass prefix format instructions and suffix now with this our agent chain is complete you can add more tools you can even create your own tools here right which we can cover in a separate lecture and just understand some of the results right we have input variable which is input we have an input variable known as tool names and the results of some of this would look like say for example we passed what do we know about sam altman so this is a generic question right so for this our agent decides that it needs to use wikipedia right which is very well suited you are not we are not looking for anything research related here so the agent understands that this can be solved using wikipedia and selects wikipedia as its tool and tries to solve it in a step by step fashion it takes the observation so this is the observation right once it gets the observation it, it shares its thought that i now know that sam altman is an american entrepreneur and investor who has been the ceo of open ai since 2019 he was briefly fired in november 2023 see this latest information has also been there right one of the key advantages of using these tools these agents is that uh, like when you are using any llms there are two major drawbacks right the first these agent or uh, these llm models have their limited knowledge right they do not have uh, even though they are trained on large corpus of data still their knowledge base is limited at the same time the time frame in which they are trained plays a crucial role you would not have information about the recent activities or recent events now these agents solve this problem right we are now aware of the most recent event we are sitting in november 2023 and we know about the recent happenings that have happened in the same month recently okay now the agent further makes an observation that it does not find any action after the thought right because there is no mention of any action after this thought so again what the agent response is i should use wikipedia to find more information about sam altman and it continues on the same path till it decides that this is the final output it can provide okay similarly if you run anything like research related to breast cancer so the research is definitely rzip is a better choice in terms of research so it tries to use rzip so agent provides us with the benefit that we don't have to specifically mention what tool to use we can provide a set of tools that we seem relevant and it will decide based on its understanding that which tool would seem best here right hope you learned something new and don't forget to share your results in the this in the comment below we'll learn together see you in the next lecture have a nice day bye bye jai hind